All right, everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Carbon from Mars. If you're watching on the stream, then um, that's great. And if you're watching on our YouTube channel, welcome. All right, here we go. So let's see. Um, Inventrix is like one of my favorites to play. I don't think it's very good. I always mention that, but it's super fun. Um, not the most uh, powerful cards here. So Phobolog just looks like it's not going to be good at all. Um, given that uh, we have no way to make titanium and like basically zero space cards. Um, I'm going to, let's see here, let's see what we got here. All right, so my plan here is gonna be to go for, maybe for um, um, planner. So take solar power. Medical lab. Um, the problem is, if I'm going to go for planner, I have to take a lot of these cards, and they're terrible. <laughs> I'll take mine, just as a cheap builder tag. Uh, God, I can't even play these cards forever. Um... Hmm, this is not a good draw. I'm even Moss is just like not very good. I guess I'm just gonna not take many cards. If I take three, it puts me at six cards. Maybe I just take like the first three generations off. I do have a lot of building tags. I mean that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get that one. All right, I'm just taking these cards, and we'll see what I get. Not, not a, uh, not a super strong hand. I'm playing this game under for protest already. <laughs> okay, that that's a little better. So space elevator is good. It's a nice complement with mine, and I could actually play them both on the first turn here, and this gives me four building tags. So I think. Um, and I'm playing Credicor and Teractor, and O'Malley is Teractor. Okay. Alrighty. Well, th those were two good cards for me. Um, given that I'm going to be able to play Space Elevator and Mine this turn, that's good. I mean, that, that gives me a plus five to my economy, and or actually a plus eight on turn one because I get that Titanium Cube as well. Um, that's pretty good. And I do have a bunch of building tags in hand. Yeah, it really does. Space elevator is really, really good. Um, that was quite a lucky draw for me, not going to lie. So let's go ahead and get space elevator going. Go ahead, get got mine going. <laughs> what did he play? I didn't even watch what he played. <laughs> All right. Also, underground detonation. At least it's just a cheap building tag in case I in case I need to rush to get it. And I, I think I am going to push pretty hard in the direction of builder tags because medical lab is a way for me to kind of recover if I spend a bunch. You know, if I have to play some suboptimal cards or whatever, at least I can I can get some cash back. All righty. This doesn't put a tile down, does it? No. Because if I could put a tile down, it'd be nice to start selling some steel, but... All right, so I think I'm done this turn. Nuclear zone.
You know what I've actually been thinking about as a way, like, if you know that you're unlikely to go into ground game, like in that last game, for example, um, I was thinking, like, maybe it's worth just hitting, like, okay, taking, like, nuclear zone, just hitting this spot or this spot. Like, you really nerf some of those, uh, like, the, the classic places where everybody plays a city is here or here or here, like these these spots. And if you just go ahead and, like, dump a tile here or dump a tile here, it's, like, pretty hard to really take advantage of those of the, all those tags and everything. Mm, that's a nice play for him. And good start for Tractor. How did he get up to three on his uh, TR? Did he play... Um, Oh, he played the nuclear zone. That's right. Nuclear zone. And uh, I don't know how he got the other one. I wasn't really paying attention. All righty. So building tags and science tags. I'm going to take gene repair. I think I'm just going to try and push into science. I've already got... Uh, One, yeah, I've got two tags, potentially three. Oh, nuke and asteroid, gotcha. Okay, ooh, I like robotic workforce. Um, and I can I can space ele I can use uh, workforce on my space elevator. That's good. All right, so I got, I'm going to have some science tags here. So um, if the payoffs come to me, that could be quite good. Energy tapping. Um, I'm just going to take this. I'm gonna let somebody have energy tapping. I don't care if they if those guys want to do that. Um, I'm not gonna actually get invention contest. I don't think. Uh, maybe I will. Great damn came around. Definitely taking those two. What am I gonna do this turn? I'm basically my turn is robotic workforce. So I could probably afford to take. Do I want to pay five to get a card? It gives me a pretty good selection. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can do better than Great Dam. Particularly since I'm pushing so hard into science, I would much prefer to play like Quantum Extractor or Mass Converter. Credit core looks like he might be going for planner potentially. All right, so I'm going to play. Basically just robotic workforce. Now uh, maybe I'll play invention contest first. Kind of the bummer with the with going into these like, I mean, I, it may actually be better for me to bump my steel production than my titanium production. Uh, solar wind power, okay. Hackers. Hopefully he hit Teractor. Yes. Okay, good. Nobody pays attention to little old Inventrix. Since I, you know, these guys start with so much more cash, it's like I think I'm gonna play invention contest and just see what I see what comes up. It it might be correct for me in this particular game just to go for. Uh oh, don't take my steel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He didn't take my steal. Um, man, that guy had a good start. Um, uh, Private O'Malley had a very good start. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sell this steal. 
And I'm going to go ahead and play Invention Contest. Okay. Well, it just seems like everything is pushing us towards space, even though we really want to be doing Builder. I am going to take the uh, Titanium Bump. Yeah, hmm. I guess we'll just take that titanium bump this turn. So he's at a plus, right? His economy is already at a plus 14. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm at a three, and then I can sell this steel for five. So I'm at an eight. He's, he's a plus six on me. This guy's at a four, five, six. Yeah, so Amalia had a pretty amazing start there. Restricted area. He's only got two cards though. And he's at negative two VP, it's worth saying that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a robotic workforce. I'm gonna copy space elevator. Um It would be so annoying if I get Asteroid Mining consortium again. Every time I've played lately, I've, that card's hit me. Next team turn, I'll have enough for Space Haven. Man, that's so good. That's an Earth Tag. That was six off. He's having a, having a good hand so far. Yeah, the Earth, you know, like... Usually the Earth Tag bonus is not all that helpful, but man, he's played a lot of Earth Tags already. That's super fun. I actually wish they had another sort of um, collect the tags theme. Like the the way that he, he's it's come together for him almost never happens with Earth Tags. There just aren't that many. Um, okay, well. So it's odd, I'm passing up, I'm passing to Tractor, and here's another one. Like all of these cards are just amazing. If I give a media group, like it's free. Um, he's just gonna get cash back on every event. On the other hand, if I pass him Protected Habs, that's just really good. I don't really have a, a need for this power right now, so I'm, I'm not super pumped about that one. Oh man, this is just not working for me. I don't know it's worse. I guess I'm just not going to give him media group. He can have protected halves if he wants it. I've never cut media group as a danger. <laughs> All right, I don't have anything on the board right now. Um, so mining area is not amazing for me. I guess it is a cheap builder tag though. I mean, another option would be ore processor because I do have four power. Or no, I don't. I didn't take the other card. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to take Mining Area here. It's just because it's so much cheaper, but Ore Processor is good. If I had taken the Nuclear Power, I would have taken Ore or or, or Processor. So that means I gotta get a tile on the board somehow. Maybe I'll play. Maybe I'll play Phobos Space Haven just to have a city. Then maybe I follow with the city over here and play mining rights. Or mining area. So let's see here. How many how many uh, tags? I have two builder tags. I've got one, two, three. So five. This one's at negative twelve. That's too far away. All right, so what if I just take mining area, buy a city, and place this guy, and then use this next to it? That's pretty good. Although I really want to get Phobos Space Haven down. 
I guess I could just take a turn off it. I'll have 15 for the next play. Okay. So... All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this quickly while I can. All right, I think I'm just gonna play a city right over here. I mean, I could also play a city here. Yeah, and then get titanium. And then just go for like, just I hope I get the space cards. I mean, it's not a bad, It's not horrible. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I mean, I've got enough cheap building tags that like two, three, four, five, six, and all these are pretty cheap. So like maybe that steel, maybe I just bank it all into space cards and hope I get them. I mean, what would be absolutely amazing is if I drew Noctis City. Ice Asteroid. Okay. All right, I guess I'm gonna buy a city here. And uh, I'm gonna put it here. I, I, we're going on the space plan. I'm, I feel like I'm already pretty far behind here. And the only way that I'm really gonna be able to get back into it is just like if I just go over the top on stuff. Um, That'll also let me pay for Space Haven almost for free. And I'm in a pretty, and that's gonna make it me in a really good spot to get Mayor, particularly if I pick up, um, like Cupola City or Noctis or something like that, which would be, the reason that would be so amazing is that it would also be a building tag. Man, I'm getting smoked. I'm getting smoked in this game. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty. Okay. So let's see here. Um, I already used that action. All right. Pass in here. Okay. So I definitely want to get the space haven down next turn and. Somehow I want to compete for Builder and Mayor while still playing a bunch of space cards. <laughs> so I think I think what I'll do is I am going to collect the space cards if they come to me, and I may just save up Titanium for a while and focus on Builder and Mayor for the time being. Um, let's let's see what we got here. Okay. All right, Industrial Microbes, pretty good. Um, I do like, I mean, Viral Enhancer is not bad. Yeah, exactly, Horst. Um, I mean, I passed the Tractor player, Protected Habs, so, but this card's good for me. It's it's basically a building tag, which I need, and it makes some building material, which I'm gonna need, so, I mean, I think that card's pretty good. Um, Oh man, greenhouses or Lagrange. I 
I think I think in this case, God, it just sucks passing LaGrange. It's a good play for us too. I think people are more likely to use greenhouses at the end of the game. I don't think someone's going to try and use that to take Builder from me, so I'm going to pass that. Pretty annoying to pass that card because that card's really good late game, but I just don't have enough. Um, take that media archives from him. It's like free cash. Uh, I just don't have enough money going on right now that I can afford to like take a, p a pick that's going to be super late game. Um, so I'm going to take Industrial Microbes. So what's my, my plays this turn? So this is 21. And Space Haven's 20, uh, 25. So I'm going to need four cash for that. And then I want to get uh, Industrial Microbes down. So that's 12. So I'm going to need 16. And then I've got 6, 22. So yeah, I have enough to take both of these. OK. And I think that's actually a good play for me because I'm going to need that card. I, I'm going to need to be able to draw cards. And I have so much titanium production here that I need something to do with it. So let's go ahead and sell this before someone takes it. And then let's go ahead and play. I don't want to tip people off to the fact that I'm going to play that uh, Phobos Space Haven. I'm just going to play this Microbes first. In case somebody wants to take another turn off, I'd prefer that they not fight me for uh, mayor. The problem with being the only person with a city on the board is that I'm gonna I'm gonna get everybody's uh, hate cards right now. Alrighty, so. I'm going to get Space Haven down. Next turn, I'll get a free card off LaGrange because I'll have enough titanium to play that for free. And I should be now at what, four building tags? Four, four to one. So I'm going to hold off on playing solar power right now because I don't, I don't really need it. Um, and I'm not I'm not so far I'm not I'm not so far behind on I'm not like so far behind on builder that I ugh man that's gross um all right well that's not looking like my best spot <laughs> god that sucks um I guess I can still pick up some plants around there I don't know Earth Catapult. Man, that guy is just, he's got every Earth card. That's gross. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to get the Space Haven down. And it's good. All right. Yeah, this city's looking a little sad right there. No doubt. Rover construction. All right. That's a builder tag. It's kind of coming after me a little bit. Okay. I think that's all I got. So, you know, as bad as this looks for me, my economy is actually pretty good. I've got a 12 plus a 4, 16, 17. I'm at plus 17 on my economy. The Tractor player is also... this. The Credit Corps player is at a plus 13, and this guy's at a mm, 19. So, Tractor player is definitely... 
definitely crushing me so far. But oh man, well. Oh yeah, I forgot about elevator. I'm gonna take this industrial center, just because I can't have I can't have somebody play it next to me here. What I may do? Oh no, it has to be next to a city. Man, I hope somebody plays a city because that's a cheap one for me. All right, well, corporate stronghold. Hey, wolf. Um, Man, I'm not. I'm not gonna play corporate stronghold. The card is just. I don't. I just don't want to take those point reductions. I'm just gonna take security fleet. I mean, I could even play this. I don't usually play security fleet, but I mean, if somebody plays corporate stronghold, fine. Then I'll play that other one against them. Um, I'm passing odd up. Yeah, I guess I'll take investment loan because again, this thing's free for that guy. All right. Um, the question is, do I take industrial center? I already have a crappy building tag thing here. I'm at. F let's see here. I'm at four. And I'm going to be able to draw a card with LaGrange Observatory. I definitely don't want these other cards. Security Fleet, I, you could make a, a case for it, but and I'm not doing anything else with it. It would be a way for me to trickle some points in. This is literally only good as a hate card. This guy has two cards and this guy has eight cards. So Credit Corps could fight me for a builder. Question is, do I take Security Fleet and play it for points? I almost never do that, but I, I just don't have a lot going on right now. Ugh, I don't think so. That could be a mistake. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not taking those cards. I mean, I could just end the game with a gazillion titanium and nothing to do with it. Then this would be worth, what, four or five points at the cost of like 30 credits. I'm gonna take Industrial Center. I'm not gonna take the other one. I, I just don't like that card. I, it, it kind of the same arguments that I have with Physics Complex. Like you score points, but you don't you don't generate TR, and that's gonna be very important to me in this game. Man, I just need something that helps me draw cards. I guess the other benefit of these two is it does give me another plus one here, although it's, it doesn't matter because it costs me more to do it. But like if somebody, like the classic place is somebody playing a city here, I could play the mining thing here. That'd be pretty good. It would basically pay for itself and be a tag. Yeah. AI AI would uh, would definitely be <laughs> would definitely be really good for me. Uh oh, he took my power. Oh man, electro catapult. God, that card's so good. Ugh, man, he took my power too. I do have a way around that, but that's annoying. Could have, I could have cut that card too. All right, well, I'll start off with uh, Lagrange. Well, I'll start off by selling the steel before somebody takes it from me. 
And let's go ahead and get Lagrange down. All right. Protected Valley. Not amazing for me. That one has to go on an ocean tile, right? Yeah. It would be good otherwise, but man, if I had placed that city here, it'd be great right here. There's another tag. I have three science tags now. Maybe I get gene repair in the mix here just to get some economy going. Yeah, I just need some good cards. That's what I'm thinking too. You know, another option would be I could play a city here and then play that protected valley here, which would make a Noctis play still like decent and put two points on this one. In that respect, maybe it's better just to save my money than play Gene Repair. Like I don't need science tags right now, I need building tags. So like next turn if I played City Protected Valley, I could take Mayor and then like particularly if I drew Noctis. And this would also put me closer, so that's Builder Tag, then on the next turn I got Builder, Builder, take the next one. So I think I just pass here. I just want all the cash that I can have right now. Because if I can, if I mean, I think the only way that I get into this game, like I'm just so far behind right now, I think the only way that I get into it is if I am able to pick up a couple of milestones. And I'm still gonna be, because I'm pushing hard in science, I think I'm still going to be able to get that award, so I might be able to make up some of these terraforming point differentials on on in that way. Also, if I draw if I draw some big space cards, I definitely have I have the economy to do it. And the Tractor player is pushing towards uh, Terraformer. I hope those guys fight over Terraformer and just leave Mayor and Builder to me. And what would just be amazing is something like either Noctis or Cupola would both be pretty good. Even though Noctis is kind of nerfed by that. And maybe I just won't play Noctis. Okay, so there's Research and there's Domed Crater. Man. That is tough because man, I want both of those cards. Like research is just great because it gives me some more cards. Domed Crater is a building tag at the same time that it's a city, which is just really good for me. And I don't want to pass research because I don't want to lose on research. Also, research turns on everything for me, all the way up to uh, anti grav technology. Oh, that's gross. I'm gonna go research because I think I'm ahead enough on the other ones that I think I'm ahead enough on the other ones that uh, I'm still gonna be able to get builder. This is good, a couple of power, and this is a hits of plant production. Nobody has plant production yet. I have the microbe, which is the hardest one. So I'm just going to cut these. Maybe somebody will take nitrophilic moss and then I can immediately play that to hit their production. <laughs> that 
that would be gross. All right, so this gives me some power, and I have a power in hand. That's pretty. That could be good for ironworks. Getting close to ironworks. Let's see if that city comes around. That'd be sweet. I I suspect it did not. Yeah. Well, colony ship is great for me because that's uh. I mean, it's definitely to have the tags for that. So the question is, do I take? So somebody took the city, and it is likely going to play it. I'm gonna skip biomass. I'm gonna. I have research. I'm gonna skip ironworks too, which also could be a mistake. But I'm gonna take these cards. Interstellar and colony ship is good for me because I have all the I have all the science tags and I have a bunch of titanium production. So that's a way I can get that going. Um, What was the other city? I don't remember. I remember there was a domed colony, and I don't think there were two cities. I thought there was just one, but oh, in capital, right? Yeah, I don't think these guys have enough energy for capital right now, and there's not enough oceans. Well, now there's enough oceans. All right. Hmm. Or do I just want to cut my losses with this city and just like play a city over here? I mean, that's not unreasonable either. Like I could just drop the city here and then immediately play Protected Valley right here and then just scoop up these greenery tiles. That may just be better. Yeah, I like that better. Then worst case scenario, if nobody plays a city and I absolutely have to, I can just play that. I can kind of put that one here, the um, my own industrial center or whatever. <laughs> you guys like research? I don't know. I have good plays here. I let's see here. I'm up four three. I'm gonna play another one here with this guy. I feel pretty comfortable I'm going to be able to win the builder fight. I mean, I'm going to be at five, and I've got three cheap ones, pretty cheap, relatively cheap, here if I need them. Uh, maybe not. Here's the capital. Oh, corporate stronghold. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that makes my industrial center free because I can I can hit this spot over here. So that's nice. And I'm leading off next turn, so I don't have to claim mayor right now. Rad suits. Okay. Restricted area. Kind of glad I got that industrial center now. So I'm going to do that now. Get my cash back. I have, 
what am I doing here? Milestones. Builder. I'm at five. It's five five. I gotta stay ahead of him. So I'm gonna play. Uh, probably just protected valley right now. Let's see here. That is my most expensive one. Like I could also just play medical lab. I could play solar power, medical lab. It would be nice to play medical lab last. Although it doesn't really matter that much because, yeah, maybe I just go medical lab solar power. Then if I get a cheap building tag, I have control of kind of everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Still got 17. I don't know if he sold his uh, stuff yet. Well, I don't, I don't think he's got anything. Um, yeah. The reason that, like, what, some might say, well, hey, you should wait until you get Medical Lab up to eight tags, but... Um, the thing is, if I wait a turn, I lose three cash, because if I do this now, I get three cash. And then, if I, so by the time I play it on seven, I'll be making one more, but it'll take three generations until it, it sort of gets back to parity, just because I took that turn off. I mean, I guess the counter argument is that um, Protected Valley, it would be pretty bad for me if somebody played those plants or played an ocean tile on that spot. I guess I hadn't really considered that. If somebody plays an ocean tile here, that is not great for me. Um, well, we'll see what happens here. In the in the end, I think that that industrial center that's that pick is looking good now because I think I'm going to need that tag. All right, so he passed. Yeah, that's a good point, Orst. Yeah, that's actually a good point. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my medical lab here. Man, I'm getting just smoked on terraforming rating right now. It's a good thing I'm gonna have a couple milestones. Um, I might be able to fight back on some of that terraforming if I get some space events. Okay. Alrighty. So what I would love is just a cheap building tag because then I can get mayor and... I mean, like, the way that this goes poorly for me is, I mean, the yellow player could cut his losses by going for mayor if I don't have a cheap building tag this turn to, to do everything. Oh man, come on. Really? Gen 7, yeah, he's saving up cash to go for mayor. Gen 7 is... Uh, I'm passing up. So I'm passing to Teractor. Come on now. This is just not working out for me. I mean I can't pass mining consortium. I guess I guess I just take this. He plays this for a bunch and then I hit one from him. It's not I guess it's not horrible. It's not horrible.
Okay. Mangrove. Okay, I'll take the probe here. All right, here we go. Tech stress power. That's a little cheaper than the other one. And I can use some steel on it. That might let me do everything. I have to see how much cash I have. So I need to be able to fund two awards and play a builder tag. So I'm gonna need 18 plus, I think I've got enough. Ooh, I don't have a lot of cash actually. So let's see here. Oh my gosh, I'm one I'm one short. I'll have to sell a card because I need I need one more tag. Man, I can't take mining consortium if I do it. It's so bad. Wait, no, I need 16 and 18. I need 32. I need 32. So I need 16 and I can use steel on this. So hold on, let me think. So I have I need 32, and what I have is 35, 36, 37. So I have a buffer of five. So that means I could play, okay, so I can play, I can take these two cards and I can sell regolith eaters or underground detonation and have exactly enough. Yeah, so I think, I think I've got enough. I hope I did that math right, but I think I've got exactly enough to do that. So, where, where are we at here? So this guy is at five, okay. So I have, I have time here. I'll go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna play the tech stress power. Yeah, I guess I could, all, I could have played that too if I had to. Oh, did I do the math wrong? Dang it. I did the math wrong. Well. Oh man, that's brutal. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that extra card. Um, dang. I guess I could sell Protected Valley. I mean, I guess I can just see what this guy does. If he doesn't build a city, then I'm going to be able to get it anyway. I guess I'll just have to see what he does. I'll just slow roll it a little bit. Yeah, Horace, no, I know. I, I know I'm last next turn, which is why I wanted to have exactly enough money to fund both of those milestones this turn. But I, I, I did the math, and I thought I had enough money to get Consortium, but I don't. I'm, I'm one short. Well, I'm three, three short. I, I must have just forgot to add in the cost of one of the cards. Um, and so I'd have to sell three cards to get both milestones, but I think I'm going to. I don't mind selling these two, but then I have to pick another one to sell.
I just had to hook him up with that one. That guy's just been had the he's had the luck today. All right, let's see here. Let's get um, let's just go ahead and take Builder off the board here and see what these guys do. Yeah, 222. I think I think you're right. If I have to sell these cards, it's going to be these three. But I'm going to see what he does here. I might sell these one at a time and just see what he does because I mean, I, I wouldn't mind keeping the valley. It's not a bad card for me, but I don't I don't care about underground detonation anymore. This guy's just gonna start coming after me now because I've been I've been messing up all his plans. Yeah, there's the dumb crater, so I will have to sell those cards. All right. Well, I'm glad that I didn't. I'm glad that we played it the way we did. I think I'm, I'm going to be able to get both of these milestones. And I'm glad that we drew tectonic stress power uh, because we wouldn't have been able to afford getting both of these on this turn. All right. Uh, one, two, three... Mayor. Okay, that's pretty good. In it to win it. Could you imagine our draw without Space Elevator? We would have just gotten demolished. I mean, as it stands, I think we already are still pretty much getting demolished. Um... So then these guys are going to fight for Terraformer and Planner. And honestly, I might be able to slip into Gardener here. Let's see here. It's possible. If, if I draw the right cards. I mean, now now the guy's just pissed off and he's coming after me. Dude, don't hate the player, man. Hate the game. I, you know, I'm sorry you didn't get Builder and Mayor. Oh, man, search for life. I had the most epic search for life on the last game I played on stream. Okay, good, he didn't get it. He watched me. I get it. All right, so I, I got nothing else to do here. All right. Well, one thing that could really elevate me into this game would just be... Would just be if I could draw some space cards. Nitrophilic moss. Okay. And All 
Man, if I got Convoy, it would be so good. Because what I could do is use the plants. I could buy a plant, play Convoy with all this steel, and have enough to get two greenery tiles down. And I'll have priority on this, gre on this yellow player for the next turn. I think I'd be able to get Gardener, too, if I drew Convoy. That would just be amazing. Come on now. Also, I need to fund scientists as soon as I have some free credits. All right, this would be the sickest convoy rip ever. Bummer. Okay. Um, Man, I'm kind of bummed that I passed those steelworks now because I got all this uh, stuff to do. I, I, I mean, Mars University is so good with uh, uh, research, so I guess I'll just take that. Oh, I forgot I have the Asteroid Mining Consortium, too. But I just need something to play with that, all that steel or titanium. My decision not to take uh, space fighters or whatever... Looking pretty bad right now, given the surplus of steel that I have. All right, how many tags do I have here? Three, so this is a plus four. Escarpment takes some steel production. Uh, you guys can have it. I'm gonna take satellites. I can also pay for it with titanium. I mean, by that rationale, I could take Space Mirror, but I'm going to take Satellites. Maybe that's, actually, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should have just taken Space Mirror. Um, honestly, Magnetic Field Generators could be good for me at the end of the game. Just three points out of nowhere. I've got all this extra energy, and I might still end up getting one of the Quantum Extractor things. Did not get Convoy, regretfully. All right, so I'm gonna take Mars University. That seems good for me. Uh, satellites would be a plus four, and it's basically free, but there's only gonna be a couple more turns left in this game. It's still pretty good though. And it can help me with Banker. Where are these guys, 12 and 14? Kind of just puts me at least in the picture for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip Field Generator. It's 20, 23 credits for three points. I think I can just do better. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be drawing some more cards here, so. Okay, I think this turn, I'm gonna play research. Hmm. All right, so I want to get down Mars University and then research. I'll be right back. Electro catapult. Yeah, that card's sweet. Well, I think I'm a pretty strong underdog in this game, but I'm having way more fun with this one. I just love playing Inventrix. Um, it's just super fun. All right. Um, so I didn't see what the yellow guy did. I wasn't really paying attention. I think he just sold on Electro Catapult. So let's go ahead and sell some steel here. And let's, uh, let's do some research. Oh wait, 
Nope. Sorry. Almost did it, but I did not. I'm going to play the Mars University. Thank you. Um, oh, shoot. I didn't realize that. That's right. Um, oh, that's the discard one. Dang it. I thought that was the one that put a credit on there. I don't really want to discard any of these cards. Dang. That sucks. Oh man, I should have played research first. Uh, I thought it was the one that just gave me, um, I misread that. I thought that was the one that put a put a resource on and off. I thought I'd just get to see another card with that. That, that sucks, because now I'm gonna miss two triggers off of uh, research too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Horst. I, I didn't catch it. I, I uh, came back and wanted to play my turn so quickly. I just missed that. Um, well, maybe what I'll do then is just play Mining Consortium and Satellites, and I'll hold off on playing Research, and then next turn I can make sure to... Uh, I can uh, make sure to have some extra cards in hand for the triggers because I, I think at this point in the game I'm just so far behind if I don't if I don't draw something that lets me use this um, if I don't draw something that lets me use this uh, titanium I, I'm just in bad shape If you just cancel, you just don't have to discard a card. Because it's an it's an optional trigger. It's not you don't you're not forced to. All right, I'm going to play this guy. Um, man, I've got so much titanium and nothing to spend it on. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to wait on research because um, if I don't... Oh, shoot. You know what else I need to do is fund scientist. i got to remember to do that. Um... I don't think so. I I think I I don't know. I mean, in real life, I think you can order them how you want. But in in this one, on the program, I think it makes you do your discards first because it just orders the trick the it orders the 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 trigger that way. I think in real life, I would be able to draw. Um, Really? That guy that guy's just out to get me. I don't really understand that play. He spent nine credits on that to do what? Like he's not like this game's gonna be over before he even makes his money out of it. This is what I mean. Like the, the hate cards when you when you play a card against someone I mean I guess I just did the same thing with asteroid mining, but the thing about asteroid mining is that I get a point for it. That's what makes it a little bit different. Um Man, that's brutal for this guy. <laughs> this has been a pretty uh, uh, people have been knocking down everybody else. Um, well, so the question is, do I hold on to satellites? I don't think so. I think I'm I'm unlikely enough to get um, banker as it stands that it's just not worth it to sandbag that. I'm not going to play like so many more space cards. I got to get I got to get scientists uh, award though. I got to I got to remember to do that next turn. So, no matter what, I have to buy a couple cards that I just want to filter. So, please remind me to do that if I'm about to not do that. 
Um, okay. Maybe that's all I got. All right, so we just absolutely need some space cards. We are at the mercy of the deck. I mean, I just haven't seen them. They just have not, uh, they, I don't think I've had a chance to really pick any good ones up. This is looking like an 11 gen game. Oh, there we go. All right, Demo's down. Now we're talking. So, I don't have any builder card tags cards, but uh, Convoy's good too. I know that one's not coming around, but okay, there we go. That's what I needed. And I might be able to engineer that to get the ocean placement bonus. Oh, dude, is that Lumberjack? Robbie, uh, what's up, man? You made it onto the stream. Um, alrighty, how many Jovians do I have? Just one? Um, you know, I am, oh man, it, it kind of sucks to pass bushes, man. Everybody loves bushes. Here's my thoughts though, like, there's a very real chance that I don't end up with a way to generate or to use all this titanium. And if that's the case, I'm gonna want the colony. So I'm gonna take that. All right, definitely taking insects away from everybody. That card can get out of hand. Dude, Lumb Lumberjack, you're like a, like a Confucian master. Okay, I'm definitely taking Demos and I'm gonna take Ganymede Colony and then I need to cycle some stuff. You guys are supposed to remind me. Um, so I'm going to play, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take all these cards. Taking them all. All right, how many cards do I have? Seven, yeah, I'm not, not there at Planner yet. These guys are at 10, this guy's at 11. All right, so this turn I want to fund, I want to fund the scientist award. And, God, who's in second on that? Oh, Tractor's in second. He's the one that I need to pull away from, I think. Yeah, so far this is just a, this has just been a, I'm kind of rooting for this yellow guy to pick up an, uh, a milestone at some point. Yeah, he played the convoy, that's a nice one for him. All right, so, first things first, I'm gonna pick up this award. How many cards does he have? 10 cards. It is a little risky for me to do it. I've got three in hand, so I'd be up five. I'm gonna do it. Gotta take some risks in life. Um, I'm gonna sell that steel. Oh shoot, you know what I should have done? Should have hit his plants. Let's see this here. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Buddha. Fortune does favor the bold. All right, so I definitely have to hit some of these plants here with that Demos down. Could I engineer it to get the ocean tile placement bonus? This guy has one heat bump, and I have enough. I do have an. I'm leading off next turn, so I could go. If I end this turn with Demos down, I could start the next turn by getting a couple heat bumps. And that would give me plus six to my terraforming rating. Like, that'd be pretty good. That, that would be a big, 
I mean, he's up by 14 on me right now in terraforming. I haven't done anything. Um, I do have Interstellar Colony Ship, which just is a freebie for me, though, so I've got a lot of points here. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. That's good for me. Because he's going to hit the other guy's players, and then I'm going to get the bonus on uh, that ocean placement. Plant conversion. Okay, that's that's interesting. Oh, but he's gonna get it right now. Dang, what a what a fight for uh, the other one. All right, here we go. Yeah, and he got terraformer. Man, the yellow guy, the yellow guy is gonna quit right now. All right, because I'm about to hit his plants. Oh, no, I can't. A Demos down doesn't take oceans. Oh, no, you're right. Dang it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, in that case, um, dang, good call on that. In that case, Maybe I'll wait and try and hit their plants. Let me let's go ahead and do research here. Ooh. Toll station. Uh, I mean, I wish I could see how many tags they had, but I think they have a lot. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to get discard GHG. Although that could be good for Thermalist. Man, I wish I could look at the board right now. Maybe I'll fund Thermalist too. Okay, now that I have enough to spend my titanium on... Maybe I don't need Ganymede Colony. So I'm going to cycle Ganymede Colony. That card's not that great for me. I wish I could have looked at the board there. How many do they have here? Three and one, so not that much. It's four. I'm at nine. These guys are way more. Um, hmm. Definitely want to hit their plants with Demos. So I'm gonna save that. I guess I'm just going to play the toll station now. Like, it gives me a bump of four. There's going to be two more turns. I don't think I'm getting into discussion for Banker. So, I might as well get the cash off of that. I could go Demos down, GHG Factories, and then fund Thermalist next turn. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I need to lock these awards out because I'm so far behind on terraforming that I, I'm going to have to... Hmm... Maybe I could go for Miner too. Just get them all. Well, he's got he's got some something to say about that. Maybe I'll go for and I would like to get that demos down right now and play GHG factories and get those cubes. I think it's worth it, even not 
I, I'm not that worried about the yellow player. I'm like at all. And I don't think the Teractor player is going to get a ton of points on the ground. This game's almost over, so I'm just going to play the Demos down. I'd rather get those four cubes. Mm. Yeah. Although maybe I'm better, maybe I'm better waiting it so he doesn't know that I'm going to do that. Just play colony ship, or I could play gene repair. No, I can't. I don't have enough for that. He's got zero plant production, and this guy has two. I'm almost in the situation where I kind of want him to... I almost don't even care about hitting that guy's plants. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to play the demos down. I don't think it's... Uh, I mean, I may be missing the opportunity to get some of these plants, but I want as much cash as I can and I want to get this GHG factories on. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this too. Maybe that was a little premature on that. I was already winning it pretty handily. It's got 15 VP, I have 12 VP. He's got two. <laughs> Time to bring their hat. <laughs> All right, well, next turn, I'm definitely going to take Thermalist if if given the opportunity right now. I mean, I should have the opportunity one way or another. And I'm, I might even fund Miner. I might just fund them all because, like... Fuel generators. AI. Man, he's going to come after me with scientists. That's pretty annoying. But at least I got it for eight. Um, he could catch me too with AI. It's possible. All right, I'm just passing here. How much money am I going to have? 23 and 13, so I'll have 36. Um... And I'll have 36. So I could fund both awards. Alloys. Yeah, just that's probably not going to be that great for him at this point. Um, maybe he's just trying to get into second on Scientist. Probably going to lose that battle against the guy with AI. Thermalist I should be able to win, and Miner... I might be able to win. Maybe maybe what I do is I, I let the yellow guy fund Landlord. I mean, he really should do that. Okay, he's going to go for Banker. He's got five cubes per turn, and I'm making six cubes per turn. 
Hmm. It does take a lot of points away from the Teractor player. I think this is going to go one more gen after this, I, which means that if I fund all those awards, I'm definitely putting a target on my back, but it seems good. I mean, I'm going to get Thermalist. So I'm going to fund Thermalist. And then the question is, do I fund Miner? What do you guys think? Should I fund Miner? I mean, it's definitely high risk. But, I mean, partly because I want to spend all those cubes. Like the credit core player could just not use them and then I would probably lose lose it. Insulation. Is that good? Hmm. I'm definitely not spending on Mohol. If somebody wants to spend cash on that, that's fine with me. Insulation, I don't really care about either. I don't have enough there that that's going to make a big difference for Banker. 17 and 22. I mean, it could make a, it does make a little bit of a difference. Fuel Factory. It's not great, but it might help me with, um, maybe I'll just cut Fuel Factory. I don't want somebody, if I decide I want to go for Miner, I don't want to have that one around. Yeah, I'm okay. I think I still have that one. I'm still going to win that one. So if they want to do that, that's fine with me. Um, take hired raiders here. I just don't want someone to take that stuff from me. I, this is a... Yeah, I'm just going to take that one. Vesta and Research Outpost. So I think it's just Vesta, although passing, which way am I passing? Gen 10, even down. So I'm passing to, yeah, I don't mind passing this to the uh, yellow player. In fact, I'm okay passing that to them. Um, ah, this minor question is tough. And I kind of need to decide because I don't need any of these things. The question is, do I take Vesta? And it is a point, and it's something that I can spend titanium on, but I already have, I'm gonna spend all of this on, I'm gonna spend all of this on um, colony ship. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take that one. That could could be a mistake, but it's a point on there, and it it may it may end up being good. All right, so I'm gonna take Thermalist for sure. Let's just verify this. Yeah, I'm gonna take Thermalist. And now the question is, do I take Miner? I mean, what I would love is if the Teractor player played Landlord. I, 
I think I think I'm so far behind that for me to win this game, I have to hope that the that this player takes landlord. I I mean I, I think that's where I'm at with it. So I'm gonna let it go. It could be a mistake, but but I think that's where I'm at with it. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Please fund the landlord. Come on. I'm not going to fight you for it, man. Just take it. Just take it. Just go for it. You know you want it. He's thinking about it. Oh man, he wants to fund that award. Please do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna contest you. Should I write in the chat? Oh come on, come on. Oh come on. Why are you doing that to me? Yeah, I don't think uh, that was that was a big one. What are you doing? I don't know I don't know what he's thinking. I mean, like there's no way you're going to win if you don't get any milestones or awards, right? Like I mean, there's just zero chance. So why wouldn't you play that there? I just don't I don't understand that. Like this guy has 17 points. This guy has two points. I mean, I still need him to. Still need him to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to go on and just play. I'm going to play Vesta and Gene Repair. Let's go ahead and do Gene Repair first. I'm going to cycle Adapted Lycan. Actually, I'm going to cycle Open City. I'm almost certainly not going to play that one. I guess if he funded Banker, would it get me into second on that? Get me close. I don't need any more cities. All right, let's play Gene Repair. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I'm going to get rid of Adapted Like, and like that card is just not going to do it for me at this point. Noctis, hilarious. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and play. Vesta. All right, how many points do I have? 15, I'll be at 19, this guy has 17. Because next turn, what I want to do is just start dropping plants. Ideally. And I'm, I'm going to have to decide whether or not I want to use these heat bumps. I kind of want to see what these guys are doing. Because if somebody does play Mohole, they could challenge me for it a little bit. I think I'm just going to save my cash here. Power grids. He's going to come after me there. All right. Well, 
well, I guess I won't I won't spend my heat yet then. I, like, why is this guy not funding landlord? Like, why would you not do that? I don't I don't understand it. He needs one. Like, I can't I can't win these games if like the third player won't do what is lo completely logical for them. I'm glad I put Ganymede on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna bump it once. I think I'm still far enough ahead. Man, this could be a 12 generation game. I'm also gonna lose if it goes 12, um, which it, it's looking like it is going to. All right, that's good. I mean, there's going to be a flurry of plants here. I'm gonna try and buy a bunch and, and then use these bonuses here to, to play another. So I might be able to bump it maybe three times next turn. One, two, three. I bet somebody has uh, greenhouses too. All right, so let's see here. Uh, do I want power plant just for a little bit more insurance on I don't think so I think I'm good I think I got it the only reason I, I maybe should have done that is that there are some of those four casting or four card four costing energy cards that um, can bump the oxygen but I think I put two of those on the bottom already Man, I want to get as much of this oxygen as I can. I mean, I'm not in a horrible position here because... I'm not in the most horrible position because if I just start laying down greenery tiles, each one of those is a three-point play for me, which is pretty good. And... This game might end next turn, so we need... There's going to be the heat bump off of the oxygen thing, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And I'm going to try and do three if I can. It's possible. I think if this game goes another round, I'm, I'm losing for sure. He's got 20 VP. I've got 15, but I've got 19 with uh, Space Colony. He's got nothing on the board. Oh, come on. Well played. Well played. God, the yellow player is not helping me in this game. Why did he start that turn? He should have just gotten the award. Slow rolled those plants, but. I feel like this is going to be like the last game. Like it's slipping away from me. 
Okay, breathing filters, that's nice. Um, yeah, breathing filters is good. This one I can pay for with steel. I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that steel anyway. All right, breathing filters can be my. If the tractor player comes after me with science tags, I can have that in reserve. So there's six more steps on the oxygen. I feel like I need to work to end this game this turn. Farming. That card's pretty good. That card I might keep. Asteroid does nothing at this point. Just in case somebody wants to hit my plants. Alright. Question is, which cards do I take? Farming is pretty sick. I mean, this gives me four plants, two points. I think I want this one. Or do I just want to play, is this not even worth it to me, and just play greenery tiles? Maybe I'm just better off playing greenery tile. Every greenery tile gives me two plants and can I engineer it so that I could play three? So 23, I'm gonna get some cash back on both of them four back so it's gonna be 20 it's gonna be 46 minus 4 42 and then I'm gonna get five cash back here on my steel so that's 59 59 minus 42 is 17 I'd have enough for farming which would give me one more so I think I take farming and I don't take breathing filters and I just risk it that he catches me on on uh, scientist. Although I do have, how many other cards do I have? I'm gonna sell these, so I have enough to get both. I'm gonna get both. Yep, I agree with you. Yeah, I think I have enough to do all of that, and if the game ends this turn, then, then, I won't play I won't play breathing filters, but he has to do a lot to catch me. To overtake me, he'd need five tags. So I think that that's safe. So I think on this turn I'm just gonna basically start buying up greeneries. Put them one, two, three, and then my next one four. If I can get them all. I think I got three. Standard tech. What is he doing? I mean, he's like, why doesn't he fund landlord? Like, I, I just don't, I don't get it. God, landlord would be, it'd be like so amazing for me if you funded that because it's at 17 and I'm at 15. So like, God, he's just he's just giving it away. I don't understand why he wouldn't just fund it. I mean, this is just like free points for tractors. He's got so much cash. I mean, come on. Like, geez. What is that guy doing? Ugh, that's annoying. All right, I'm a standard project, this greenery.
Oh man, I did that math way wrong. 46, 42, and oh yeah, I, <laughs> I did that math way wrong. Um, no way I'm gonna win Landlord. That guy's gonna smoke me on Landlord. 222, like, I, I just don't understand why that guy's, I mean, this is, he's such a clear landlord for him. I, like, what, like, come on. I mean, what is he doing? That's a seven-point swing for me on that Tractor player because I don't get a second place or a first place on it. And this, I mean, like, what? What was, I don't get it. I just don't understand that, but Whatever. Uh, Q, this yellow player for like the last 12 actions could have funded Landlord and he didn't. And I, I, I ne really needed him to fund this. He hasn't done anything. He doesn't have a milestone or an award, but I really needed him to, I mean, what, what are you doing building more cities? Like what? Oh, come on. Well, I can't, I can't win these games if... They're just like, <clears throat> I think it's going to go another generation now, too. He's out of, He's going to be out of cash. He can put one more down. I mean, this. I don't understand. Like, this guy is just completely running away with it. Oh my god. Well, the twenty, the twenty-one is worth it if this guy has flush with cash, and he's gonna clearly get it when you can get it, right? Like if this guy spends twenty and gets plus five, and this guy, and I would have gotten second on this. That's a that's a ten point swing against Tractor. Like if this guy is playing to win, he needs to be thinking, okay, who's in first place? Tractor. And then he's got to be like, how can I limit Tractor's points? He can't be thinking about me. He needs to be thinking about Tractor. He's just running away with it. And so that that award is a is a it's a ten point swing. Don't think this game is ending this turn. Well, I could sell I can sell these cards. I can sell these cards, get to sixteen and play. Yeah, but I wouldn't have enough to play. Uh, if I do that I won't have enough to play. Um, uh, colony ship. I can't sell colony ship. I need that one. So he's got one more bump. I mean, I guess I'm just playing colony ship. And then I'd play breathing filters if it goes another one. Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, greenhouses was was uh, came through the draft earlier. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess that's a good point. He could have greenhouses. A 
Would that do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'd be one more bump. I mean, he has to be trying to end this game right now. I mean, yeah, he's just so far behind, it doesn't even matter. He's just, just going to be kingmaker in this one. Just got to see what these guys are doing. Because I'd like to keep some of these cards if we're going to another generation. <clears throat> Could I get Banker? 15. This guy's at 19. No, I don't think so. No. Third award is uh, Banker, 222. Hmm. Which would I rather have, Noctis or Open? Maybe just Open City, try and put one here. Noctis doesn't really give me anything. Uh, yeah, I'd probably just put Open City over here. Noctis is a little cheaper though. But this gives me the extra point, so yeah, I'd probably just sell Noctis. Oh man, this is miserable. <clears throat> Did they give up on fighting me for scientists? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So I have 20 points in awards. I have 20 points on VP. I have a hidden colony ship here that's another four. It's 40 points. And I've got <laughs> not much on the board. 40, uh, uh, maybe about 44, 45 points. I don't think it's 20 points. I think it's about 10 right now. This guy's got, he's got, I'm at plus 10 here. Uh, it could be, it could be a lot. All right, so what do they got here? This guy still has six. The game could still end this turn if somebody... Oh. I think it's going another gen, and if it does, I kind of want all these cards. 
just gonna I'm just gonna pass. <clears throat> if the game ends, it's bad for me because I could have gotten another two points, but. I think he's played three multipliers too. How many tags does he have? Four. I don't. Maybe he didn't play. He, he played two of them. Yeah. No. He played uh, terraforming Ganymede. And. Um. <clears throat> Io mining. Man, if I knew it was gonna go twelve generations. Maybe I would have just funded the miner. Maybe I would have funded the miner. I don't know. All right. Well, I think I. I mean, this lets me filter, but I, think I just need to take the safer thing and just get every point I can get. I can play that. Pay for that out of titanium. So. It's like free free point. I think he thought the game was gonna end. Release of inert gases. How many uh, micro tags I have one? Well, let's see what we got here. It's probably just going to start by getting some plants down. Get those extra points. So I'll take Space Station, which is free for me, essentially. And uh, I guess I'll just take Release of Inner Gases, or do I, am I going to play all these? Um, 16, 23, 11, that's where it's 39, 50. So I don't really need another card, I guess. I'm just gonna play these three. Yeah, I don't think I need the inert gases then. Although it's cheaper than Open City, but it doesn't let me. Yeah, I think I'll just take that one. Yeah, I think he wants to. I think he was thinking that the game was going to end. I mean, like. <clears throat> This, the tractor player is just is, is has a lot of points and has a lot of cash, and when somebody's running away with it like that, you have to identify who the long game player is and end it. And the yellow player could have ended that game uh, and funded the award, and I think then it would have been up for contention. But this last turn is going to be, it's just going to be bad. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get. Um, I want to get this bump right now. I guess I could just play Open City first. No, 
No, not the Teractor player. The this Credit Corps player. This guy's clearly winning. This guy could clearly have ended the game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Open City plus. Uh, not going to use my steel because I have. Uh, so let's see here. If I put it, I, think I just want it here, right? Or do I want to just like tighten up on this guy? I guess this is already bad for him. And I want these plants because I still think there might be a way that I can get one more. I'm going to get two, then I'll have two, four. Yeah, I think there's. Oh, I'm going to come up one short. I'm going to come up one short. What if I played this here? I think then I can get one more plant down. Weirdly. Because I'm going to get two, then two is four, and then I'll play farming, which will give me one more plant, which I can put over here. So I'm actually going to put this one here, which is a little odd. And then I got to put this one here. All right, so that gets me to four plants, and then when I play farming, I'll pick up the last two. So then I should have then I have enough for space station and breathing filters. Yeah, that's just about right. No, they don't because um, if. Uh, You mean like if I played it here, but I this is gonna happen during plant conversion. So, cause I, I'm at four plants and when I play farming, I'm gonna get two and two. So if somebody plays it here. Yeah, but like if they play it here, it's not a great play for them because if they play it here, I'll just put it here. If they put it here, then I'll just you know, I'll put it here or whatever. Like, I'll, it'll be one point less for me, but I'm not going to give them the point unless it's yellow, who I think is losing. Um, all right. Well, I'm glad that he had greenhouses. Yeah, maybe after like railing on that guy for so much, now watch him win. I don't think he can though. I mean, he's so far behind on. He's so far behind on awards and miles. He doesn't have one. He has none, and he has thirty nine points and five VP. Like I, I just don't think it's possible for him to 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 get into contention on this. But I could be wrong. We shall see. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right here. Mass converter. Is he going to come after my science tags? I have one more. He doesn't know about it. And sell the steel. I know it's possible Q it's possible but the thing is like you can't play for second place right like there's no way I was gonna win a 12 generation game under any circumstances so you have to play in such a way that you assume that the other player is gonna play in their best interest 
right? Like I could have funded minor and prevented the purple player from getting that that extra swing, but then I'm definitely losing because I can't deploy the cards that I need to get the points. So, I mean, this guy, I don't think I'm going to end up third. I mean, he's got 39 points. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20. He's got 20 points right now on the board. That puts him at around like 60. And I've got 21 points in hand and 20 points here. And we're going to end up about this. I mean, I, you're right. I could narrowly lose it, but like we're not winning. Neither of us are winning this game that goes long. Like there's, there's no reason for him to play this long game when this guy's running away with it. Like, I mean, this comes up a lot in the stream, which is that, like, people are like, well, whenever I play it, we go 13 generations. It's like, well, then the people you're playing with aren't playing it correctly um, because the game should not go 13 generations if the two players that are losing are doing what they need to do to rein in the other players. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, 31 points here, right? I mean, like, if we had ended this on the last generation, he wouldn't, ha I mean, if, I don't know. If the, I think optimal play, this guy would have about 10 fewer points. Man, I'm going to come one short on stupid second place for Banker. God, I don't know why that guy didn't just... Fun. I mean, look at that. 16. <laughs> like, why did you find the landlord? I don't get that. Oh my god, he's got the convoy too. Yeah, I mean, like, he wouldn't have had the money to play that card. I mean, there's just, like, yeah, come on now. Like, miserable. The guy's probably at 40 points now. <laughs> Oh, did he take plants? Oh, he doesn't have a thing to put it on? Yeah, he put it all on pets. Okay. He's got 21 pets on... 21 animals on pets. He also played that pets for like three credits because he's Teractor and he got the uh, the one the card that... that uh, I mean, he had a pretty sick game. I, I, I think it was going to be unlikely I was going to win this one anyway, but um, his opening plays were... His opening plays were Earth Office, Immigration Shuttles, Cartel after Nuclear Zone, and Pets. So he played... He got Cartels for five, Immigration Shuttles for five, and he played Earth Catapult. All of them at a discount of six. <laughs> I mean, he had an amazing start. So um, I think. All right, that's it.
Great. Glad you saved the money for that one. All right. So Teractor got second there. At least he got third on... Well, is he going to get third on Thermalist? Yeah, I think he's going to get third on Thermalist. Oh, man, that's frustrating. All right, I'm I'm ready for this game to be over. <laughs> yeah, you had a good start. There's no doubt. I still think that this game was competitive up until we didn't end it on eleven. I like. I think that it would have been close-ish. Um, if if the yellow player had funded landlord and we had ended the game on 11 I actually think it would have been pretty close I'd have to go back and look at the game state to, to figure that out but you can't give somebody who's making 80 cash a turn an extra generation like why would you do that I don't, I don't understand what this guy was thinking We're just sitting here, so let's see here. We got twenty-one, twenty-five. We got twenty points, milestones, and awards. Thanks, bro. Or they do have an ELO ranking system. O'Malley and I have the same ranking. I looked before we played. I don't know about this other guy.
Yeah, he ended up with 40 victory points. Oh. So his total score is going to be what? Uh, Forty-four plus forty to eighty-four, something like that, or eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. It's like he's got about eighty-nine points. Plus five, ninety-four. Plus second in one of them, ninety-six. Maybe 96 points. Oh, 99. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Why did we play another generation? 96, 97, 100, 101. Oh, gross. All right. Got two more points there. Could be the difference. <laughs> oh my god, this one's this one was a bead down. Oh, God, so gross. <laughs> that, that was not very fun. How many points, Private, how many points do you think you picked up in that last generation? Realistically. I'm thinking about 10, maybe 12, maybe 12 points. I don't know. I like if we end that a generation earlier and this guy takes landlord. He's at he finishes at 85ish, somewhere in 80 like mid 80s. Probably wouldn't have had as much cash to do something else. I finish in the mid 80s. He's minus 5 at 99 and then whatever points he wouldn't have gotten that. I don't know. I, I mean, I think I think Private was still going to win that game. I, I don't. Th but I, I think uh, that last generation was pretty gross. I'd have to go back and see exactly how many points. But let this be a lesson: when someone's running away with the game, don't extend it. You have to work with the other person to end it. I mean, there's just like otherwise, you, you're just inviting disaster. Uh, but Private, well played. Um, that was great. You had a super sweet Earth Strat going from the very beginning. Um, yeah, well, um, I think that uh, second place doesn't matter, private. I, you know, it's like. 
I know, I know. I just don't understand why he didn't end the game. Uh, like, why, why would you let the person who's generating 80 cash on their economy... Why would you, why would you, ex like, he could have just played greenhouses and ended it. And he could have funded the landlord, played greenhouses and ended it. And I think that the game would have, the margin of victory would have been within six points. And he might have, he might have had a chance. I don't know, maybe he would have had a chance. He played a lot of greenery tiles in the last generation, but it was at a point when uh, the game was already decided. Yeah, I know, we saw it. But uh, anyway, great game, everyone. I got to go. Um, that was painful, but fun, too.